Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to try and highlight my hair. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new, please subscribe to my channel. And yeah, let's get into highlighting. Okay, I am nervous, I'm scared. <laughs> I decided to highlight my hair. I was going to go to the salon and have them do it, but the place that I was going to, it just didn't work out, okay? They kept having to reschedule my appointment, and I'm just like at the point. I just want to do it myself. So that is what we're going to do. I watched a couple videos. I feel like I know what I'm doing. So hopefully, hopefully... I will be able to do this. When I was a kid, my sister used to use this, the cap and like pull hair through and I love the way that it looked. So that is what we're doing today. We're going to use this cap. It's just called a frosting tipping cap. I picked mine up at Sally's and I believe it has like the hook with it. So we're going to use this. I picked up some bleach and developer and a toner. A little history on my hair. My hair is naturally black. I went and bleached it all blonde during COVID. I bleached my hair like seven times, damaged my hair really bad. I kept my hair blonde for about a month and then I went back to my black box dye that I pick up at Walmart for like three bucks. <laughs> and then I decided about a year ago that I wanted to go red. So I did a color oops, removed some of that black color dye that was in my hair, and I did bleach my hair once, and then I put red on top of it. The problem with red is that it keep, kept washing out, so the maintenance on it was not what I wanted. So yeah, I decided to just go back to black, and I've been dyeing my hair black ever since. The problem with my hair is that I have a lot of gray hair coming through. So I thought if I put some blonde highlights in, then it wouldn't show the gray hair as much, you know? So that is what I'm trying to do. Yeah, so I know I have some box dye in my hair right now. I was going to do a color oops and kind of remove some of that, but I'm not going to. I know Brad right now would be yelling at me, being like, no girl, don't do it, don't do it. And I know from experience bleaching my own hair in the past that bleach doesn't like to go through this black box dye hair. So I'm actually right now my hair is not completely black because I like two weeks ago my husband tried to balayage my hair and that was an epic fail <laughs> so i was left with like this orangey kind of hair and then we just went over it with like a dark brown and it kind of came out with like these really cute highlights it's not going to pick up on camera because of my lights but there is some highlights in there my hair looks really oily and greasy right now because i did this oil treatment a couple days ago and then i washed it out and I did not get all the oils out of my hair. So this is like three day old hair. So I know you're not supposed to go in and like bleach clean hair because of the scalp. But using this cap, I don't feel like this bleach is going to be on my scalp. So I don't know. Regardless, let's get started. It's already late. I have to pick my kid up from school at 3.30 and what time is it right now? It is one o'clock. I'm giving myself literally like two hours, not even. So this is what you get. You get the cap here and then you get this crochet hook. So what you need to, what you have to do is it has all of these holes in here and you just gotta pick some hair through and then you bleach it. I think what I'm going to do is every hole should i do every hole i'm gonna try to do every hole if it doesn't work out and i can only do the circle holes then that's what i'll do but i want to kind of do every hole so the videos that i was watching they were saying to brush your hair back 
instead of parting it. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to brush this back and then we're going to lay this down, I think. Look at me. Mm, I'm a bug. Funny thing is, my husband does not know that I'm doing this and he would probably get really irritated because he's so sick and tired of me playing with my own hair. I have this dirty mirror right here that I'm going to use to pull my hair through. So, we just want to go in. Ow, that kind of hurt. And pull some hair through. I'm going to speed this up because this is going to take me forever. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights don't get around. But there's something about you, something about you I like, about you. I should slow down, but maybe I'm escaping the love we found. There's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you. If only you knew I would die for you. One of us, one of us got. Okay, so we are back. It took two hours to pull all of the hair through. My daughter helped me in the places I couldn't reach. Now we're gonna mix up the bleach and apply it to the hair. So the lightener I'm gonna be using is this right here. It is the Age Beautiful Ultra, Ultra Bond. It's a cream lightener. So the girl at Sally said that she would use this brand here because it's going to be less damaging on the hair. I don't know if that's true or not. On the box here, it says it lifts up to nine plus levels. So let's hope this is true. Okay. The ratio says one to one. I guess I'll just squirt some out. And then this is the developer I'm going to use. This is by the same brand. I'm going to use a 30 volume. Probably not a good idea, but probably a good idea. And then I got myself a pair of gloves. And I got myself like this thing and this thing. So let's mix it on up. I do have some of these foils to use. Like to put my hair in so then it can heat up more or something. I don't know. People use it so I got it. Now what are we going to do? I'm going to have to move fast. So I brushed all of my hair to make sure I got all the knots out and everything was pulled through. And then I put my hair up in the back here. And then I put the flap. I don't know if you've seen the flap. I put the flap over my hair so I hopefully don't bleach that. Now we're going to put some gloves on and we're going to apply this bleach. I got me some extra large gloves. I don't need extra large so they're going to be all like, look at me people. Okay, no more playing around. We got to do this. Start playing, I guess. Oh, I'm going to mess this up. I'm going to mess this up. I have like this tiny little mirror that I'm working with here. Should I put it on the roots? I mean, probably. Oh, it's getting everywhere. For so long. Okay. 
Cause I got to know If you feel the things I do I might need some help If you let me go Cause I'm flying through the sky And I'm standing a little high on you <laughs> So this has been on for about 40 minutes I'm going to take it out it's definitely not the shade that I wanted which I already knew it was going wasn't going to be so I'm going to take this out rinse it out and then I'm gonna go in and apply a bleach one more time okay so this is what it looks like after bleaching it so I mean it's horrible let's just let's just say that i'm gonna go in and do another round of bleach on it i'm going to concentrate it in the middle here and then yeah right middle middle that's what we're gonna do i ran out of that one bleach that i was using so i'm gonna go in with some click quick quick blue and again 30 volume developer so let's go for round two driving down the road that i grew up on once again it's when i pass your door the memories come back again pictures of us flooding back just like a wave makes me wonder what happened what you're up to so this is what it's looking like very orangey we're gonna try to tone it I know the toner is not going to work the Sun is like blaring on me right now um, I know the toner is not gonna work but I bought it so why not try it I look like bozo the clown right now so what I have here is I have t14 t27 and 050 we're gonna just mix a little bit of everything with 10 volume where is that at i don't need it to go blonde i just want to take out the orange tones in it and like a nice brown shade would be nice we were higher than the ceiling middle fingers to the sky i remember thinking if i only could stop the time way back when we didn't care what they said People could stare I didn't give a damn Cause I was being next to you Way back when We didn't care what they said People could stare I didn't give a damn Cause all I needed was my friend Way back when Way back when Guitar. And we started up a band in my garage We thought our dream would take us so far But after a week or so Okay, so this is what it looks like after I'm done I don't mind it, it's not horrible But the roots have to be touched up a little bit because there is some okay if you can see right there there's some issues that we have going on so i picked this up this is just some dark brown hair dye and i was planning on going in and kind of touching up the roots so that's what we're going to do right now I'm going to use the Age Beautiful hair dye with some 20 volume uh, Ultra Bond developer. So usually I would go in with a 10 volume for hair dye, but this time I'm going to go in with a 20 volume because I do have some gray hairs 
and I was told to cover grays, you want to go in with a 20 volume instead of a 10 volume. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to mix this up and then we're going to apply it to the head. I'm buzzing, let's drink up. Your death look like big fun. Come on, let's get it on. Like that one fin gay song. I'm stunning, you love it. Come on, give me something. I know that you want it. Come on, give Something the night is young, and so are we. So maybe you should leave with me. The night is young, and so are we, baby. The night is young, so let's have some fun. If you love me right, yeah, this could be the summer of our lives now, honey. Give it to me like you know you should now. I'm going to wait 20 minutes and then I will rinse it out and I will show you guys what we are left with so it has been about a week since you guys saw me bleach my hair that night it got super late and I was just really tired and I did not feel like coming back on camera and showing you guys how it looked I've washed my hair twice now since I bleached it and yeah this is how it looks it's really oily right now i need to wash it so don't mind that it's not orange which makes me very happy it's definitely not the shade of blonde that i wanted it to be but yeah so it's kind of like this sandy blonde light brown shade right now i have been using blue shampoo to kind of get rid of any orangey tones that are left in my hair and since using the blue shampoo my my daughter and my niece told me that my hair is starting to look a little green and I think the reason why is because I have some yellow tones in my hair and using that blue shampoo it's kind of turning it green I'm not sure if that's true or not I have purple shampoo and I've used that on my hair and it just didn't do anything for me so that's why I got some blue shampoo I've also not did a hair mask yet I don't have one so I have to go pick one up today and tonight I'm gonna do a hair mask on my hair so hopefully I can get it a little bit more hydrated and yeah so I'm happy that I did go in with the brown at the roots because I was having like some Cheeto Cheeto cheetah print kind of going on up there and that fixed it so I don't have that issue anymore I'm going to wait about my dog is outside right now and he's barking. He literally just went outside. But he's outside by himself and he doesn't like that. He wants someone to go out there with him. So after this video, I have to go let Bella out so he has someone to play with. But anyways, I am going to bleach my hair again in about three weeks. I did a lot of research online and it was saying that you want to wait about six weeks to re-bleach your hair. I'm gonna wait about three weeks, you know, half that time, and then I'm gonna go in and bleach my hair again. But this time around, when I do it, I have watched a lot of videos and I have different bleach that I'm using, a different toner that I'm gonna be using, and then I have a lot of different like hair masks that I will be using, so yeah. But that's not going to be in this video. You guys are going to have to subscribe to my channel if you want to see me going blonde in the future. Like now it'll only be like two more weeks that I'll be bleaching my hair. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. It didn't like completely damage my hair, which is always a plus. And it's, I feel like it's a wearable hair color. I don't feel like it's like, I was really scared it was going to be like orange, brassy orange color and I did not want that. And I don't see the brassy orange at all. I don't know what it's showing up on camera, but it's definitely not a brassy orange. This is what it looks like, people. 
But anyways, I'm going to close this video because I am tired. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you do not miss out on any future videos. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.